Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000! <laughs> what, 9,000? <laughs> There's no way that can be right! <laughs> so, um, I'm going to review. If it's not apparent by that, then I guess you should go see that show. Um, it's, uh, I'm going to review Dragon Ball Z. So, yeah, I was wondering if I should do a review on this because everybody's seen this series. And, in fact, a lot of people, um, it's, it's how they got into anime. Um, that's kind of the case with me, you know, I mean, I, Robotech a little bit before that and Pokemon. And, but, you know, that was the first... I mean, it's the king of shonen to a certain extent, you know. It's what everybody uses as a reference that, you know, gets measured against other things. And, you know, I mean, it, it, it's interesting because it's um, such an iconic show. But then if you watch it now, it, first off, it's it's like from the 80s. It really is. It's a, The show started, like, in Japan, all the animation and stuff. It's like an or like mid '80s show, and uh, well, manga. Then it got made into a show, and then it got dubbed. What's interesting about the series, though, is that it wasn't very successful in the really early '90s. They tried it like on um, uh, a couple times. They tried Dragon Ball initially, and then they tried Dragon Ball Z. Nothing didn't take till it came on Cartoon Network. And then it, like, developed a huge fan base, and it's kind of just been huge ever since. Um, the show's animation, because it was produced in the 80s, sometimes gets criticized. Um, but for a show, once again, made in the 80s, you know, the actual concepts of the drawings, and yeah, they ended up improving over time because the series was constantly being produced. Um, all in all... It's pretty good before the big revolution in the way they animate, which I still don't fully understand, but it basically it got a lot better, which I think we all know. I mean, you watch an episode of Old Bleach, like the first season, you watch one from like a year ago that is not filler, it's hugely different. Uh, but the big problem, um, so with uh, Dragon Ball Z, at least from my standpoint, is... It goes fucking on forever, and a lot of the episodes seemingly have nothing to do with anything. Like, I mean, there's entire sagas that just, I mean, like, whole parts of that saga that are just, I don't know, they just, nothing really happens. I mean, don't get me wrong, the fight scenes are amazing, um, and the dialogue, I mean, the, the dialogue's the dialogue, I mean, you know, ugh, you can say what you want. Um... But, I mean, I think the series ends up having, like, something, if you combined all the episodes, something like oh, close to 300 episodes, if not three over 300. Over 9,000? No. Um, but, uh, the main thing, the one thing that I do have a serious criticism about the series is, is that everybody in the beginning... All, like, straight through the original Dragon Ball and into the first saga of Dragon Ball Z, um, up until when they when uh, Goku goes Super Saiyan, everybody's kind of close to the same power or relative. So, you know, if you're um, someone from... If you're, if you're anything other than a Saiyan, basically, after uh, the Namek saga, you're basically shit out of luck. It doesn't matter what you do. You could you can throw as many you know Kale Ken fireballs whatever you want you know it, it it ain't gonna do shit it doesn't matter and to a certain extent that limits the availability of the series and the other thing is is that everybody instantly becomes a Super Saiyan after that it seems you know I mean it's like five episodes later um, Vegeta is a Super Saiyan and then I mean it's 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 just it deludes it because they build it up so much in the um, in the Namek saga, you know, it's like this huge thing. Oh my God, he's a Super Saiyan. The other thing about the Super Saiyan is like, did they have to make him blonde with blue hair? I don't know. That always kind of, I, it just rubbed me the wrong way. It reminded me too much of like Aryan stuff because when that happened, I was doing a paper on uh, Nazi Germany 
and it's just like it fused in my mind. So whenever I see Super Saiyans, I always think of Hitler. So it's always kind of, I don't know, it just hits me the wrong way. And I, I, it, it just rubs me the wrong way with the entire series after that point. Um, but yeah, they just kind of throw all those characters away. You know, I mean, you got Yamcha and everybody. And um, frankly, when it's just the Saiyans and then they throw them Boo and Cell... Uh, you know, they each have their own sagas. I thought the Cell Saga was pretty good. Um, Boo, Boo got annoying. And by then, I mean, because they didn't have the filler system that we have today, which is basically, well, I'll use Bleach again. You know, you have like 30 episodes that are straight, you know, this is, this is the shit. This is the good, you know, these are the good episodes. And then you'll have like, 30 episodes of just bullshit while they make actual good ones. <laughs> or they wait for the manga to catch up. Dragon Ball Z didn't really um, directly have that same situation, but it, it it's it, the show's so drawn out. They were actually able, in the initial cut, they cut out, and I remember this, it was like, they the, in the Japanese original cut, there was like 60 episodes and the first saga or, or close to that and then they got it down to like 40 or 50 something um so they were able to cut a bunch of episodes in the first american dub version um but then they later cut it down even further in the kai series which is literally like uh for japanese for dragon ball revised and i mean it, it it makes it hugely more easy to watch if you ever watch dragon ball back to back especially the old series, it is, it, 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 like, whole huge aspects of the episode, unless you're watching in marathon mode, which when I, I ended up watching, um, uh, most of, um, post, uh, um, Namek, uh, series all at once, and, um, unfortunately I had it on videotape, so, like, huge segments of the episode was basically, um, just recapping, and it was so annoying, and then the, the last part of the episode would be like, what's going to happen next, so I mean, it, it, it eats up a lot of time, and then what, what you've got left of the episode, um, a lot of times, they'd have all these storylines, and you know, sometimes you care about a lot of them, but other times, I, I, I don't care what Goku's doing with Krillin in that spaceship, you know, it's pointless, it doesn't fucking matter to me, and they drag that shit out, and it's like, oh, they ran into some more aliens. Big motherfucking surprise. I mean, you know. Um, but yeah. Um, the dub. I like the dub up until they. I don't know the exact episode, but it's when they're fighting the Ginyu Force, and uh, Toonami went on like a year break to produce episodes, and they slightly changed Goku's voice. I think. I'm not exactly sure about that, but I'm pretty sure I remember remembering that his voice had changed. And that just rubbed me the wrong way, because, I don't know, it just kind of irritated me. And, uh, I don't know, it started a long decline. The other thing is that I got more into Slice of Life, and I kind of just moved away from anime in general at that point. Um, you know, my brother was still a huge fan, so I'd watch it on occasion. But, you know... Uh, yeah, that is until, like, I think it was 08, 09, something like that, then I found anime again. I know, I know, everybody says it like a religious experience. If you ever watch, like, YouTube videos about it, it's always like, I found anime. And it's like, you, you watch the show, calm the fuck down, you know? <laughs> but, um, overall, I think that it's a very important series, because it really... It's it's a huge step for American uh, shonen or Japanese, you know, moving Japanese product here that is shonen because it's it's cemented in a lot of minds the concept of a good series because it was pretty, you know, for for a little kid and for the audience that it was going for, it is a good series. I mean, it's like you kind of grow. Everybody goes through a Dragon Ball Z phase. You know, it's kind of like everybody went through, I don't know, a Led Zeppelin phase or 
I don't know. That's that's a bad example. I know lots of people that don't know who the fuck Led Zeppelin is. So, uh, but you know, everybody. It's kind of like the a mothership of music. It's kind of like Elvis. It was gonna be, you know, if you're doing music to anime, you know, he it, very significant. But do you re, you should you should hear some or watch some. But if it's not for you, just know that that's kind of where it came from. As kind of an evolutionary thing. The other thing is that it is, in general, a pretty good fighting um, shonen. I mean, you can argue whether it's up to the quality that we enjoy today. You know, you, is it as good as Naruto? You know, you could have a debate about that if you want. Um, I'll say for the time, it's incredibly impressive. Once again, in the 80s, they're making this kind of shit. I mean, um... I think it was Ramen One and a Half that did really good shit for its time. Once again, I think it was an 80s show. Like, I mean, for fighting scenes, anyway. You can argue about the plot. Um, but, what else? I do think it's funny how zealous... There was this huge crowd of supporters for Dragon Ball Z for a very long time. Um, and... They were a lot like Naruto supporters about two years ago um, in that they had huge masses of fans, but they got ridiculed by, like, everybody. And it eventually just kind of snuffed it out. Well, snuffed out some levels of public, you know, displays, at least in my life. I mean, I remember people show up to school with, you know, Dragon Ball cards, Dra Dragon Ball everything. It could just be when I was at school, that's why I noted to sit so much, is that everybody was going through the same phase. Um, but, you know, something kind of like that with Naruto. There was, you know, you'd see everybody with, like, little Naruto patches here and there. Well, not everybody, but, you know, you'd see a lot of people. Um, or you'd see some people. <laughs> I, I mean, it, the community's not that big, I guess. Um, but, yeah, you'd see you'd see people with patches and, you know... I don't know. But now you don't as much. Now it's kind of like... It's still really popular, like Dragon Ball Z. You talk about it, it's a lot of people's, you know, it's it's all in everybody's top ten list. But, um... You... Uh, they, they keep a low power level. Um, if you want to <laughs> describe it like that. I don't know. Um, but yeah. Oh, Real quick, I am very happy today, if you haven't noticed, because I got a job interview tomorrow, yes, and that's awesome. I know I don't usually talk about myself for whatever reason in these uh, videos in general, but that makes me incredibly happy. Um, I, I'm not, once again, I've, I've tried to not be super positive about Dragon Ball Z in this review, because I do like it a lot, and I, I'm serious, you should watch it if you have not, but, um, like I said, everybody's seen it, so I don't need to really push it, in my opinion. I mean, if you haven't, this is, that's what I just did. So, um, and, uh, once again, to go through the sagas, uh, dra I, I'd say the, um, battle be between the Saiyans, uh, in the first, you know, the first arc or if you want to say Saga, you can say Saga. The first Saga I like in Dragon Ball Z. I like Dragon Ball. Um, I thought they were pretty, they were really good. Once again, you had a lot more characters. You had a lot more competition. You, you, know, every, you know, you had actual humans involved. And, you know, it, it, other characters than Goku and all the Saiyans mattered. Um, I liked it up till about... I like the, the battle with uh, Cell. I like that part. Uh, not as much, but I still liked it. I thought that that was probably one of the best battle scenes. It went on forever. And um, about halfway through, it's kind of predictable what's going to happen. Uh, but it was pretty good. Um, so yeah, I guess that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I've talked way too much. Um, so yeah, have a nice day.